everyone. What did you think? That was a quick unboxing, wasn't it? So do you order from walmart.com? I don't know anybody but me in my circle of people that ever order from Walmart, other than maybe they'll order, you know, a, I don't know, sheets or maybe an afghan for the bed or I do my food shopping on walmart.com. This is not sponsored. This is just something I do. I love it. Why do I love it? I'll give you a couple of reasons and then I'll give you a quick tour of what I got. Number one is I sit on my phone and I order, 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 boom, order it and it's get, I get it within 24 to 48 hours. There are some items I can get next day and there are some items it takes two days. Once in a blue moon, not too often, it might take three or four days. There's number one, it's $35. You have to order a minimum of $35 to get free shipping. So I know if you're a family of one or two, you might say, well, I never spend $35. Well, okay, maybe it's not for you. But for me, if I'm, I'll save up, like I'll wait until I need to get a certain number of supplies. Now, if you have pets, you have order dog food and dog biscuits and, and you know maybe some dish soap and a few other things, trust me, you're gonna hit your 35 and it's free shipping. Now you can order their, um, they have like a yearly fee. I don't know what, I think it's called Walmart Plus. Again, we're not sponsored, just telling you the facts here. Um, I think it's called Walmart Plus. It's kind of like Amazon Prime, I think. And then you can get delivery to your house and you can actually have food delivery, like fresh produce and meats and all that, as well as you get free shipping on all your orders that you get from walmart.com. I don't do that because they will not deliver. It's funny, Instacart will deliver to me from Walmart, but Walmart Plus will not deliver to me if I get the Walmart Plus. So Walmart, if you're listening, get it together here, people. I would love to use your, your Walmart Plus. So I like it. I order it on my phone. I have it in 24 to 40, 48 hours here in my home. I get it delivered. I don't have to carry and lug the bags. Now we talked about that in another video. Is it worth going using all these things? Here's another avenue that you can possibly use instead of having to lug the larger items, the heavier items. Maybe you're older, maybe you're disabled. You know, I'm a woman. I just can't lift the same things that the guys in my family lift. It's just a fact. I don't have the upper body strength that they do. I have a back injury. I'm doing okay, you know, I go to the chiropractor and all that stuff, but I don't want to aggravate anything. My husband can't lift anything anymore because of his blood clot. So we have to be careful with that. I don't want to dump everything on my youngest son and say, here, you have to help me with everything. I get it delivered right on my doorstep. The other day there was a box and I kind of kicked it in the door because I had my hands full from work and here we have it. So that's one reason. Another reason is there are times as you know, at least my Walmarts, on the when when things were really good, two years ago, on the good, my Walmart wasn't always fully stocked. So I'm used to my Walmart, well, I can't talk today, Walmart not being fully stocked. Now, the big thing right now I'm hearing from a lot of people, empty shelves and all that, we have had spurts of that. Definitely the frozen pizzas, things like that. Now I did a Walmart pickup last week. I didn't record that for you. It was not a good day. My husband wasn't feeling well. Many of you know what happened to me in the last few days. So we just canned that Walmart grocery order pickup. I will do it at another time. But I ordered it for five, six o'clock at night. Well, by that time, a lot of things are out of stock. So if you want the frozen pizza or you want certain things, like I wanted canned biscuits, things like that, you have to go and order that in the morning. Walmart, our Walmart sells out, boom, it's sold out. And then it takes them overnight to refill. No problem, because what I couldn't get on Walmart, I ran over to Stop and Shop the next morning, got everything I needed. They were fully stocked. I had no problem. So, walmart.com, free shipping, 24 to 14 hours on the doorstep, order it from my phone. And it's items that, like I was saying, when you go to Walmart sometimes, you can't get certain things because they're out of stock on the shelves. But 
The things I couldn't get at the store from my Walmart grocery pickup, I ordered online with no problem at all. I was able to get everything I needed. So let me show you what I got. So people will ask all the time that know that I do grocery pickup. You, or I mean, uh, the walmart.com. You do that with glass? Yeah, these are glass bottles right here. See that? Glass. These are the ragu marinara. And I know how many comments I get. You can make your own tomato sauce. I know that. I don't want to. I don't like it. So I like ragu. So I'm getting ragu. Um, this is the marinara, my absolute favorite. My mother and I have looked for probably nine, 10 months now for ragu marinara, ShopRite, Stop and Shop, and Walmart. Nothing on the shelves. I thought they discontinued it. Didn't even think about it when I placed my walmart.com order went on and they had Walmart, I mean, um, ragu marinara. So I ordered six jars to have in the stockpile. Two will be for the pantry, two will be for the stockpile. Now let me show you, it is wrapped in this type of paper and it comes in plastic bags. I wanted to show you in case you're concerned. So there you go, you can see it's all wrapped up in a plastic bag, it's like a giant Ziploc bag and it's filled and I got two of those types of bags. So this paper, you can recycle. I like to save it so when I mail out my own shipping, it's there. And then you get these plastic bags. Now, I don't know that I would put anything in there like food-wise because I don't know what else has been in there. You could wash them. But I like these if you want to store your sheets in your closet. You want to store, you know, a pair of shoes in your luggage. All kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of ideas. Then I also picked up Irish Spring. They did not have that in the store. They had the single one. I like the double box. It's a little cheaper. Ordered it on walmart.com. Let me push some of this out of the way. So my puppy, you've met Kip, likes the rotisserie chicken flavor by Little Caesars. So they did not have that in the store, but they had it on walmart.com. In the store, they had the prime rib and they had something else, maybe salmon, I don't remember, but I wanted the rotisserie chicken. And listen, to carry this, you know, put it in your cart, put it in a bag, lug it into the car, lug it back from the car to the house, all that lugging, it was delivered right to my doorstep. I also, while I was on there, picked up his favorite dog biscuits. These are peanut butter flavor, he loves them. We were talking about this the other day Dinty Moore, and I had wished I had had this when I did my one. It was the tiny stockpile, tiny space, tiny budget, and I talked about getting meals in cans to have as your emergency. I did get a uh, comment about all the stuff that I had was high in salt. Okay, we're not talking, this is what I'm going to live on, three meals a day, 30, you know, for the whole month of 30 days in a month, 365 days a year. I'm not living on a can of stew, a can of soup, and so on and so forth. I have plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables in the freezer. We do plenty of rotation. But if you need to have emergency food, power outages, low on money, low on funds, whatever the case might be, you're going to eat what you can. You're not having the money to go out and get everything. Get a can of food that has a meal in a can. You've got vegetables, you've got meat, you've got potatoes. Make sure you're just drinking water, plenty of water to flush out anything else. But when you're in a pinch, these are the kind of things that I think for our family works. You might be different, you might have a different opinion, that's fine, but I'm letting you know, we keep things like this on hand. On the back, it has a nice recipe for over noodles. We usually make dumplings with this, comes out great. So I got two cans. Now this would be plenty for a meal. Usually also what I do is I add some string beans to this just to bulk it up with extra vegetables and dumplings and that gives us two meals. You're a family of one or two, you might wanna get the smaller can. I'm a family of three. Two out of the three are men, so I like the bigger can. Then, okay, Jan from New York City saves money. You know she's a friend of mine and she has highly recommended tomato soup. She did a whole video. I'll have to see if I can find that video. 
um, on her playlist and link it in the description up below. But she did a whole thing on tomato soup and the nutritional value that's in it. So she got me thinking, I love tomato soup and I didn't have any in my stockpile. So this is the family size. And I like to do this where I get the bigger can, we'll have it for lunch, and then I have it in the refrigerator for the next day. That's just the way we like doing it. I basically will have any, like this and this, I'll get two days worth of meals out of it. You can also get the smaller can, you don't have to get the large can. But you think about it, like all these cans that I'm getting, I did not have to lug from my car because they were delivered to my doorstep. So I got four cans of tomato soup. I think I have about four squirts left of my mayonnaise and then I'm out. So I got one for the current refrigerator and one for the stockpile. So there we go, I got two mayonnaise. I like to do my own cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup homemade, but once in a while it's just convenient. You don't have the time to whip it all together, whatever the case might be. Cream of chicken soup, I got four cans of the small cans of that to add to certain recipes. And I picked up orzo. I have been trying to get orzo and pastina pasta in the grocery stores. Every time I go, they have other pastas, but never the orzo or the pastina. And we like the pastina as a side dish. I add peas to it. It's a nice little pasta. If you've never had pastina, it's more like, I don't know, something that we ate when we were kids, but I like it. So I have, it's kind of like a couscous texture because it's tiny if you've never had it. But I like to have the peas with it and have that as a side dish. And I like the orzo when I make soups. I like to add orzo. If I do lemon chicken, I love to do lemon chicken with lemon orzo. I don't know, it's just something I like to do. So I picked up two boxes of these. I probably should have gotten four so that I would have them on hand. But next order, I'll order a few more. This came in my order. I did not order this. This is I like these vitamins very much. We... Um, I've gotten these for myself and for my husband and son, but I did not order them. So I might have hit the button by mistake. You know, those things happen. No big deal. What do you do when you order something by mistake or you don't like it? Or let me show you something else. This can in particular, I don't know if you can see that, has a dent in it. So I would not have purchased that. I don't know whether it got dented in shipping or it was just dented. No biggie. This is going back to the store and this is going back to the store. I can go right back to the store and I can return those items. You can mail them back, but you know, for that, next time I'm at Walmart, I just take my phone with a copy of my receipt, show them the receipt, show them these items, just like that, I get the money back. No problem, no questions asked. Now, dish soap, Ugh, heavy, yes, you see the size of this. This is the um, 75 fluid ounces, this is the Ulta by Great Value compared to the Dawn dish soap. I've never used this. Anybody else ever use the Walmart brand? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like it? Is it the same as Dawn? Is it better? Is it not as good? What do you think? I love Dawn. That's really my go-to, that and Palmolive. And, you know, but the Dawn is getting a little pricey. And I thought, I'm going to try this. So let me know in the comments if you've used the Great Value, if you like it. Sometimes you get an off-brand you know, it's a little bit watery and it doesn't suds up as much. And I know they say it's not in the suds, but mentally it's in the suds. But even cleaning, I just, I like the Dawn for cleaning. So let me know what you think. But again, that's a big thing to be lugging. If you don't have the upper body strength for whatever reason, and you're trying to lug this into the cart, back into the car, then back into the house, it was in my box that was left on my doorstep. And then I picked up one for my pantry and one for the stockpile. And this is the butter flavored cooking spray. And then I also picked up one of the olive oil. I have one right now in the pantry, but realized I didn't have one in the stockpile. And I see baking and cooking in my near future because we're really, really trying to tighten up our budget, doing more homemade. And I've just gotten myself inspired. If you didn't see my my new way of, of doing menus, of cooking three meals at a time, you can go back and see that was my last video. And I want to make sure I have no excuse when I want to cook and prepare that I have everything on hand that I need. 
So all of this stuff, you can't see it all, but all of this stuff came on walmart.com. This might seem like a very large order to you, but I have six jars of tomato sauce. I am good for weeks. I have mayonnaise, good for weeks. These are for emergency purposes. These are for, I would say two just to have on hand and two for now. I'm almost out of this, plus I needed one for the stockpile. I'm almost out of dish soap. I need these. So like, these are things that, this isn't gonna be gone in a day. This is things to last probably through end of March. Who knows, maybe even April, I don't know. Maybe even May and June. I might not go through that much uh, ragu sauce. I might not go through the tomato soup. I might opt to do something else and make it homemade. It's my kitchen. We prepare the meals the way we like them. We eat what we like. We cook the way we like. I make no excuses for that. It is what it is. This is at home with our family. So I just wanna say thanks for coming to our home. Thanks for being part of the Wilson team. Hello, hello, hello to so many of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. A few of you have actually emailed me, which has been great. I've enjoyed corresponding. Kimberly, you and I have been corresponding. If you're there, I just wanna say hello, Kimberly. Tracy, I've been praying for you and your husband. Just wanted to let you know that. I have not forgotten about you. Keep me posted on what's going on. It's been so cool to get to know you guys almost on a personal level, and we've never met, but I think it's awesome. Thanks so much for coming over. We'll catch you all on the next video.